a look in a bit more detail at how you program Flotilla using the Rockpool interface. This appears in a web browser and it shows you the input devices on the left. So I'm going to click on there and it's going to show all the devices that I've got plugged in. I'm going to pick the color sensor and then I'm going to pick the red input channel from the color sensor. You can do lots of sort of processing in the middle, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go straight to the output. I'm going to click the LED, the color LED stick, and I'm going to click the red channel of the LED output. So what I've done is I've connected the input to the output, red input to the red LED output. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to add another kind of channel, this time for the green. I'm going to link the green input of the color sensor to the green output of the LED. So I pick green from the output. And I'm going to do the same again for blue. So I'm going to add another input pick the color sensor and then pick the blue channel from the color sensor and I'm going to link that straight to the blue output of the LED. So I click on that, here we go, go to click LED and then pick the blue channel. Now they're all linked together and we'll have a look in a second at what that does. Okay, so now we've seen a bit about how to program Flotilla using the Rockpool interface where I connected the red, green and blue inputs of the colour sensor here. I've connected that to the red, green and blue outputs of the colour LED strip here. I'm going to see what it does. So just so we can see it a bit more clearly because the LEDs are so bright, I'm going to put them in this drinks bottle just to diffuse the light slightly because it is really bright. So I'll put it in there, hopefully you can still see that. And I've got this beautiful patchwork tablecloth with lots of different colours on. So what happens now when I put the colour sensor, hopefully, on a blue square, we should see the light changes to a sort of blue colour. I'll put it on a green square, it goes kind of greenish. If I put it on a yellow square, it's gone sort of, well, there we go, it's kind of yellow. Put it on a red square, it's gone red. Let's put it on an orange square. You should see the light go orange. If I put it on a pale blue square, we get a nice pale blue colour from the light.